Ouais, bah partez moi. Ever since I was a kid, I used to love dinosaurs. I used to draw them all the time. And I used to organize these exhibitions of dinosaurs to my parents. So, when I started to work on Iron Sky 2, I decided that I need to have dinosaurs. Iron Sky is a great film, but it's more than that. For me, Iron Sky is like a big sandbox, like, like this, where we are providing different ways for our global fans to join the production, to bring in their ideas and their help and, and, and even financing. First Iron Sky is obviously about Nazis on the dark side of the moon. And the more I read about the conspiracy theory of the moon Nazis and the Nazi UFOs, the more I came across stories that led me to the hollow Earth. The whole idea of Earth being hollow is more an esoteric side of the Nazi conspiracy theory. But I knew that the story lied somewhere there. And I knew that finally I had a way to bring in my love for dinosaurs into the world of Iron Sky inside the hollow earth in a land of advanced races called Agartha. Iron Sky is a good example for an indie film which has a global audience. And this global audience, they want to have the film when it's coming out. They don't want to wait. And that's what we need to do. That's my mission, to make sure that they will get it at the same time, everywhere, everywhere. All I want to do is a great adventure film. A world, a lush prehistoric world, under our feet in the hollow earth, run by this crazy race of reptilian creatures who have been the puppet masters of our history. And they are leading an army of dinosaurs fighting the last survivors of mankind. The budget of the film is about 15 million US dollars. We have 40% of that already. And the rest we want to finance in a way that we keep the distribution control. And that's one of the reasons we are going for crowdfunding. If you share my love with these crazy visions, please help us out. Support Iron Sky The Coming Race. And let's change the world of film together.